Thanks for watching, uh, coming onto this video on how to create a really, really strong video demo. Now, why do we actually do the video demos? So essentially the process, the way that we run it is that we send out an email. So we, we start off with a basic cold email and a person who's uh, not yet interested. So their level of interest is pretty cold at that point. And then from there, what we do is we follow that email up basically, sorry, let me just fix that. So we, we follow that email up with uh, a reply. So we send them a cold email. They're very interested at that point where they wanna to get to know more about what we can offer. And then the demo video, what it does is it basically spikes the interest. So imagine if the cold email is like a bait and the demo just reels them in. And what makes the demo video work really well is a bunch of really important factors that basically at the end of the day, it's supposed to get them from the demo up to a point where they sign up to uh, a call. So basically a sales call. So this is where their um, interest peaks. So imagine if a, this is a chart of you know time and their interest and essentially, when they get a cold email, they get a small spike in their interest. And this small spike, you know, once it reaches a certain threshold, that's enough to get them to actually say, you know, reply. So when they're at that level, they'll give you a reply. And then they'll go on and watch the video. And the video is basically going to warm them up really, really fast to a level where they'll essentially be willing to schedule a call. So once they get here, they schedule a call. And then by the time they get to a call, which of course they get a bit colder, but by the time they get to a call, that's where you kind of spike them up to a level where they'll actually buy. So uh, the reason the video demo can spike people really well is because it's it gives you a chance to show your personality. So basically it's it's what, what's called um, um, evolutionary signals. So evolutionary signals basically means uh, things that are very, very hard to fake. So for example, uh, if you see a guy with a Lamborghini, uh, obviously that shows you a lot more about their financial status than, you know, somebody who just looks like a plain closed person. But if you see a person who has a private jet, well, that would be much harder to fake because anybody can, you know, drop a thousand dollars and get a Lamborghini. Not anybody can get a, a private jet. So it, it can own a private jet. So evolutionary signals are essentially very hard to fake signals and people are always looking for them to know what to pay attention to. So the demo video, it shows a lot of things about you that really make this work. So for example, it shows that you're passionate, that you're uh, entrepreneurial, no real, sorry if there's uh, any uh, uh, spelling mistakes. So passionate, entrepreneurial, it shows that you know your product, that you love your product. So, so expert, uh, love product, service, um, human. So, you know, you kind of, they get to see that you're a, a real person with actual, you know, a personality. Um, and also it just, they get to see that, you know, you know, you know what you're doing. So, so basically it's, it's a process. You could say that you're not just some guy or a girl who, you know, just got started, you have some process working. And the fact that you have a process makes people trust you because somebody with a process is somebody with experience and that is able to generate uh, very consistent results. Uh, so essentially the way that a demo video would be structured is first of all, we would start with a quick personal uh, introduction. So basically uh, you start off by saying, Something like, hey, thank you so much for watching this, for replying to my email. So, you know, it's something that you just, you would not say if this was um, a, a general video. So that already kind of like hints that you're going to watch a personalized video. And then what I would add on top of that is the second stage is to basically set the expectations. So make sure that when, what that means is basically to tell them what they can expect to get from the video. Now you want to make sure that this part is aligned with the actual cold email. So the cold email that we sent, uh, it has certain expectations because if we pique their interest, then 
there's something here that got them to go on the video call. So you want to make sure that this is aligned with uh, the expectations. So if the cold email talked about how you can give them, a, let's say, you know, a first month trial or, or how you guys uh, or girls, sorry. <laughs> so how you can basically um, uh, generate X result that nobody else can do. Then when you set expectations, you want to make sure that you refer to exactly what you talked about in the actual email or else they're just going to leave because they're going to feel like they've been duped. So, you know, whatever was referenced here that gets people's attention, that's what you set the expectations for. So let's use, uh, for example, a web design company. Uh, let's say that we sent out in the email and we said, uh, you know, we're the only web design company where if you don't like the website, you don't have to pay anything. So, you know, that's obviously very compelling to a lot of industries and a lot of people. So they get the email, they are interested enough to go on a, to watch the video and reply. Uh, so they watch the video and it says, Hey, thank you so much for replying to my email. And in this video, I am going to explain what I said in the email and how we can basically uh, get your website and make sure that it's perfect and that you will only pay if you really, really love it. And I, I'm going to explain how we can do that basically. So now that the expectations are set, I know that if I'm going to watch the video and it's going to be three to five minutes, then I'm going to know that these three to five minutes um, are going to be about the thing that I was interested in initially. And that's what's going to get a person to stay on the video. Now, the next step is what we like to call like the passion part. Um, that's the bulk of the video. So that is where you um, really get to uh, express what makes you passionate about the business. So you not don't say what you think they should hear or what you think you should be saying. You want to get your ducks in order and make sure that you know exactly what makes you passionate about your business. And we really flesh that out in the call. So if we had an onboarding call already, then we kind of fleshed out what makes you passionate about your business. You want to basically make a list of these things or ask us to send you a list based on our call and really just go hard on this part. So this is the main part that makes people interested. This is the part where you really turn from just an, you know, an interesting opportunity to a real person that they want to work with. And because you basically go in and become passionate about your business. So for example, in our case, you know, in our video, we talk about how we're the best B2B marketing solution on the planet, how uh, we can scale the results. We can test anything. Uh, our system is better than anything else you can find. It's, it gets 10 times better results than Facebook ads or Google ads. Uh, we work directly with you. Basically, you know, these are things that make me passionate as a business owner. So, so the passion comes through in both emotionally and on a logical level. And in terms of visual, what they see, you want to make sure to treat your mouse like a hand. So if I want you to focus on the cold emails, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go like this. I might mark something or I might just do like a wiggly thing with my mouse. Not like this. Some, some people do this. More like a circular thing. Like here, here, this, there's this, there's that. Just make sure that the mouse is where the eyes should be. And visually, you just want to show things that kind of emphasize what you're talking about. So if you're talking about how your company is like a family, then what you want to do is to show the a picture of your team, you know, a really quality, good looking picture. If you talk about how your websites are the best looking websites, you want to kind of take them quickly through really good looking websites. So again, it shouldn't be distracting. You don't need to go too much into details. Just geek out on your business. Imagine you have like a opportunity to talk to somebody who's really interested in knowing more and to just talk about what's interesting to you. It doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter where they're at. They just need to hear you are passionate. Finally, I would close it out with a strong ending. So basically I would take like the main thing, the main actionable thing about us that, that, you know, gets people really jacked up. So in our case, we would probably say like, like, look, we can get you five to 15 leads per day even on our smallest package. And again, it's literally the best service marketing service on the planet for businesses. I would, I would basically um, finish with a really strong sentence like that, where it just leaves an impression again, something that's very hard to forget, uh, important stat, important feature. 
And I would then just finish off with what we call an abrupt ending. So the abrupt ending is extremely important. Abrupt ending. Uh, it's, it's extremely important because the way that most communication works with people is that people, um, there's, imagine if there's an energy level in a call. So this is uh, time and this is the energy. What most people do is they basically build up the energy throughout the call, you know, get excited, talk about awesome things, build a good vibe, and then they let that energy kind of simmer down and die out. And this is really the part of the conversation where it's like, Oh, thanks. You know, it was great talking to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, have a good day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you too. Well, good luck. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye bye. And basically the energy just drops. And when people's energy drop, they had like a full cycle of communication. They're not going to need more because they got their fix. And what we want you to do is to basically, you know, if this is the video and the energy basically starts like, Hey, thank you so much for, you know, replying to the email. I'm going to show you this and this and this, and you geek out and, you know, Oh, my business can do this. And, and we do this and it's so awesome. And we can do this for you and this and this and this. So basically you let the passion kind of build, 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 build. And then right at the peak where you have the strong ending where you kind of like, Whoa, like we can do this for you. Then you abruptly end it. You don't say goodbye. You don't end it courteously. Obviously you don't cut yourself mid sentence, but it would be something like, you know, and we can do this and this and this and this. And that's why we're the most, uh, you know, the best B2B marketing platform on the planet and can get you five to 15 leads per day. Done. Like that, that's how it ends basically. Like, like not thank you, not just da da da, boom, strong ending. They're going to go from there. They're going to go back to the email and they're going to schedule a call. And if they don't, you can always follow them up. You know, make sure that they watch the video. Basically, our motto motto is, you know, until be as aggressive as you want until they get give you a yes or a no. So basically, you know, until somebody watched the video and tells you it's interesting, I want to learn more or, you know, I'm not interested, it's limbo. So you want to really push hard on that. And that that's basically the process. It's a very simple process. And this then leads, obviously, to to a scheduled call. Uh, and at that point, you know, when somebody got all the way through this, uh, this process, again, sorry for the misspelling, I'm trying to do it uh, quite fast. So when somebody got to this point, uh, they're ready. Like when they get here, they basically, you know, got an email, were interested, got all the honest signals in the world. Like again, your entrepreneurial expert, really smart, good with people. And by the moment, by the time they got here, went back and scheduled like they're good like if if they're a good fit they're going to close